Well, back to episode 20. Mason Mount is about to make his debut here against Motherwell. And it's going to be a pretty, uh, I mean, obviously Motherwell doing not too bad. But let's go into the team and see if we can make any changes. Um, I guess not. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm kind of tempted to start Reese Nelson, but fuck it. You know what? No, no, we'll give Mount a chance playing as Cam. And then if he doesn't work it, then we'll just drop him back for a rebo. But yeah, I mean... I'm preferring a repo over Arfield and Davis at the moment, so that is what we're going with. That is your team. And hopefully we can get rid of a few of these fucking jobbers. Some of them on loan, you know what I mean? Not all of them. I mean, Andy, you know what? We're going to put Andy King on the bench for Kamara and give him a game. Just, I mean, he hasn't even had a game yet, and I kind of just feel sorry for the guy. Top goal score, David Turnbull. We tried to put a bit in for him, like, but ah. Uh, Motherwell rejected it due to uh, not having enough depth in that position, which is fair enough, at least. At least in FIFA, like the other SPL clubs aren't scared of the Rangers and Celtic buying their players, so you know what I mean they'll probably just let his contract run down and like at the end of the day. But at least they're they're showing a wee bit of grit in this. But anyway, Mason Mount's debut. Ah, how many goals is he gonna get? Well, let's find out, man. Defoe, through to Alfredo. Can you see him back post? Oh, what a block! Mason Mount. Oh, almost scores a folly, man. Over to Mount. Mount whips it in. It's offside though. It's a bit underwhelming. Defoe finds Tav. Seedorf though. Doing the pretty. Oh, back to Kent. Ryan Kent. Kent. Back post. Defoe. I mean, I, I don't even. I couldn't even keep up with that. There was so much stuff happening. Like, it was a bit of a mess. But we whip it in. Mason Mount. Alfredo. And it's a goal kick. Sample whips it in for Motherwell. It's cleared as far as Ryan Jack. Out to Defoe. Who finds Big Alfredo making the run. Hopefully now he's back to his goal scoring form. Like, can he find. Oh, almost Haribo. How did no one get on that? Like, seriously? Oh, lovely play. Back to Alfredo, that's it! Damn! Mount goes for a finesse, what a goal! Mason Mount on his debut, man. That is what I'm talking about. Just takes a touch, finds where he's going to put it, man, and just sticks it right in the back of the net. And that is your thumbnail right there. Mason Mount makes his fucking debut. You got a problem with it? Fight me, damn it. But I mean, it's such a good goal. Great ball from, uh, yeah, Zaribo, I think it was. Well, I repo plays into him, and then it's Mason Mount finds the back of the net. Alfredo back to the foe. Alfredo 2-0. That is what I'm talking about. Right on the stroke of half time, and I think that just takes the game out of reach from Motherwell, who have literally created hee haw. And I'm not complaining. I'll take it every day of the week. Oh, the foe skips past his man. Finds Alfredo, 3 0. Easy as that. Easy as bloody that, man. Alfredo's back to banging in the goals. Mounts scored in his debut. The full body is play. Look at that. Skips past him, man. It's quality. We're thriving. And Celtic are getting beat 2 0 by Hibbs. What a day to be alive it is. Jesus, sloppy play at the back for us. Off the post. And there's me slapping about Motherwell and they get a constant well fuck I was gonna say oh, constellation but twenty minutes to go, you never know. You never is that Seedorf that's buying that in? No, it's Mazinga. Jesus Christ, Motherwell with a shot and it the I mean I, I don't know what that number seven's done like. I mean he's literally just cost them a goal which could have easily turned this game on its head. So I'm not complaining. Ball whipped in. Not one bias, but who cares, because Motherwell have bottled it. Alfredo finds through Reese Nelson. How's this Carroll guy keeping up with Reese Nelson? Like, what in the, what, what, a fresh Reese Nelson, like, is getting it done by him. Andy King. Down to Alfredo, back to Andy King. Ah, what are you doing, big man? Illich now charging forward. Ball whipped across, finds Sample. Bit of collision, ball to Ryan Jack though. 
Lovely ball up to Aribo, switch the play. Finds Barisic, who takes a heavy touch, but somehow still wins the ball. Through to Andy King, lovely burst acceleration, whipped in. No one can get on it. And that is your full time whistle, 3 1 with one here at Fur Park. That's a good result. Celtic, especially if they still lost. I don't know if they got two late goals like Zala McAnally sometimes never shuts up, and then the next minute he'll be like a fucking mute. But anyway, let's see if they did. Yes, they did get beat, and that's what I'm talking about. So that will be us, what? Four points clear at the top. It's looking no bad. Matt Polster has been sold to Santos Lagana, and we've got about 700,000 for it, and only 500,000 to the transfer budget. 8.2 million from Basiktas for Tavernier. No chance. We're not getting rid of Big Tav. That just wouldn't be happening. We're back at Ibrox though against St Mirren. Can we build on that four point lead we've got? That's a decent buffer. You know what I mean? It's a, I mean, it's a very decent buffer. Like, you know what I mean? Cause it just gets the job done. But anyway, let's see if we can see off the task of St Mirren. Lovely ball through to Alfredo. Can he do the turn? Oh, almost identical to what he did against Celtic, but it was a great save from uh, St Mirren's goalie. Nelson played through by Alfredo. Nelson now charging down the right. Can he play it back to Alfredo, who lines the shot up? Back to Mason Mount, goes for it! Mason bloody Mount, man. What a goal. I mean, we are just, see this formation? It just works so well. The free, the free centre backs sit back, then you've got Jack, who just fucking sits in front of them, Aribo does his hang, Mount is just scoring goals for fun, the wingers and the two strikers are just, I mean the wingers are always, I mean the wingers are not acting like what the full backs did previously, apart from the fact the wingers don't need to defend because they're wingers, you know what I mean, but it's a great goal from Mount, you know what I mean, playing great at the minute, alright mate, what's happening? <laughs> Aribo on the ball, couldn't quite work out the foe though, managed to find Mount, oh he almost played in, Kent, Hollander though, he's winning that every day of the week, finds Jermaine into Alfredo, waits for the run of Mason Mount, doesn't really find him, Nelson, Ronyu, Lippa in, the full smallest man on the pitch, Alfredo, the full played through, I see that run there, oh. back to Goldson, back to Nelson, back to Mason Mount, Mason Mount, Mason Mount. So Marin whip it in, Nelson wins the header, finds Morales right on the stroke of half time, back to Defoe, back to Alfredo, he's going to blow the whistle now, pegs the, the assistant and yeah. 1-0 at half time. Mount leading the charge, Defoe asking for the run. But Mount can't, well Defoe can't find Mount, it's not Mount's fucking fault is it? Ah oh, shit, Mullen, Goldson, ah, sloppy, shite from St Mirren. St Mirren now with the corner, McGuinness stepping up to take it. He's going to whip it in, goes for a lot of whip, head it down, Hollander boots it up to Jermaine, who absolutely just takes him out of the game. That was quality, but Jermaine doesn't have the pace, and that is really all I could have done. Cut back and look for the ball, but nobody was there. But come on, somebody come up now. We're here, Mount finds Alfredo. Back to Mason Mount, can he get in front of him? Oh yes, back to Alfredo! Oh what a save, Jesus Christ from St Mirren. Mason Mount leading the charge. Mason Mount, Mason Mount, Mason Mount! Good. Oh! It's offside, but it was a good goal. It was a good goal. Like. St Mirren played through, McGuinness, Jack trying to get back, but he doesn't really have the body pace, ball whipped in, an injured Tav, tries to get to it, it's headed down, holy shit, I would actually be like a good goal, if it bounced over him, like great technique, like if that's what he was going for. Leading the charge forward, yeah again, he seems to be the driving force in this team, oh come on, 
Alfredo, can he find Kent? I can. Oh, Kent goes right through the middle of them. Plays through mine. Car sadly can't. Doing a it right. Let's just play it safe. Two minutes out on it to Tav. He may be injured, like, but he's got a lot of stamina and go past him. Boom, look at that. So Mirren left for dead. Literally, what the fuck's going on with St. Mirren at the back here? Mount should be making it 2 0, but the match is won and he got the goal, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bury the kid too much. It's like have it for two months. That's depressing. Halliday, it looks like he'll be leaving us. Fuck, I mean, considering we're at our fullback, we're not using fullback, so we don't really need them. So, Halliday, Saranara, big man. Before we end this episode, let's take a wee look at the league table, and as you can see, we are top by four points. Uh, Hibs, two behind Celtic. Hearts, eight behind us. I mean, I'd say it's between us and Celtic, but Hibs, I mean, they're in there. So are Hearts, but then behind them, there is a gap, you know what I mean? There's no, uh, no denying that. It looks like this top six is a certain certain at this point but we've conceded the, mo the least goals in the league and we've also scored the most so that is good going but anyway check out the next episode and until next time